Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this video lecture, I am gonna teach you slab reinforcement ideas. Guys, you can see this is RCC slab. Under the slab in this planning, you can see these are columns. Okay, so this is RCC slab. RCC slab plan. So if you have any question related this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer slave idea especially for reinforcement as you can see these are columns so this is column okay so these are columns so you can say this is c1 column one this is c2 or this is C3 just for idea this is C4 okay so in this column you can see this is C4 this is C3 this is C2 and this is C1 so you can uh, mention anything in this okay so now where is the place to provide extra steel rods or bent up bar guys you can see these are supports suppose the length between each column is here about 20 feet suppose this is 20 feet okay this is also 20 feet and this one is also 20 feet and for example this is 16 feet 6 feet 16 feet and 0 0 inches okay same you can see the dimensions so now where is the best place to provide extra steel rods extra bars are steel rods so where is the best place as i told you in many videos that extra extra steel rods are bent up bar we are required to resist negative bending moment so where is negative bending moment so first of all i will show you the place where we have negative bending moment guys you can see this is one column and this is other column these are supports suppose the span is here 20 feet okay on the top of this column these columns you can see guys this is rcc slab okay this is slab this is column this is also column and this one is slab now guys here this is one support this is the other support so here at the distance of l by 4 what is l by 4 so 20 is the total length which is 20 feet so l by 4 l by 4 at this place we have negative bending moment l by 4 mean l divided by 4 it means the span between two column which is 20 feet so 20 feet should be divided by 4 so where we have now 5 feet so at the distance of 5 feet or simply I will tell you guys this is 1 sorry so this is 1 and this is the other okay so this is L by 4 means so here we have 5 feet okay you can say this is 5 feet where this is L by 4 and this is also 5 feet so this is L by 4 so the total length is 20 feet okay so this is the center this is the center line of this slab okay so here guys we are placing extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment our crank up bar so the bar is going same like this at this place it is bending like this and here guys you can see so this is called bent up bar or extra steel rods both of you can use at this place to resist negative bending moment so now come to the main point guys here we have positive bending moment and here we have negative bending moment as i told you before it resists negative bending moment extra steel rods resist negative bending moment bending moment okay so where we have negative bending moment so let me show you its diagram so its diagram is going same like this okay so here we have negative bending moment and here we have positive bending moment so therefore for positive bending moment we are making the shape of steel like this 
and for negative bending moment we are bent the bar and provide the steel rod same like this so therefore it resists negative bending moment so now here guys you can see at the distance of l by 4 we are providing bent up bar are extra steel rods so i said extra steel rods so here at this place you can provide the extra steel rods same like this at the distance of l by 4 so these are extra steel rods so l by 4 is these are l by 4 so provide extra steel rods with the spacing of 6 inches or 8 inches okay so like this you can provide extra steel rods how guys you can see this is 16 feet so at this side we will provide 4 feet so total extra steel rods we will place 8 feet so the total length of our cutting length of extra steel rod is 8 feet that's why because 16 divided by 4 we will get 4 feet so 4 feet plus 4 feet so on each side 4 feet at this side and 4 at this side okay so this is called extra steel rods same you can use it like this so here so this is here we will provide at 5 feet that's why because 20 divided by 4 l divided by 4 so at the 5 feet we are placing the extra steel rod same like this okay like this so these are extra steel rods same you can place here like this because now remember one thing so extra steel rods are not economical but bent up bar is economical how to make bent up bar so let me show you the bent up bar so the bent up bar is going same like this like this as you can see at this place okay at the distance of l by 4 again like this going going and it is going same like this again here like this so these are bent up bar so bent up bar is economical because main bars and distribution bars when we are providing so if we have two-way slip so in the case of two-way slip we are providing bent up bar on both directions for long direction also for short direction but if we have one way slip so in one way slip we are placing the main bar so the main bar should be bent up bar and one way and two way slip so it's depend on the slip size okay as i discussed in many videos what is one way slip what is two way slip so first of all you should know about one way and two way slip okay so these are extra steel rods so extra steel rods should be provided at the distance of l by 4 so where we have l by 4 where we have rcc columns so columns are support to resist negative bending moment and bending moment negative bending moment are at the place of support so what are support supports are rcc column so i didn't discuss the size of column etc just i am guiding you for main bars and distribution bars especially for extra steel rods are for crank bar are bent up bar so the crank bar are bent up bar angle you can keep up to this is bent up bar or crank bar you can say anything okay so this you can keep from 45 to 60 degree okay so this is a short video but very important to know about the place of extra steel rods but remember one thing more don't provide the lapping length at the place of extra steel rods are bent up bar because at the distance of l by 4 we have negative bending moment so at the place of negative bending moment don't provide lapping length hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video